headlines. In November 2014, Vedanta Resources PLC announced the approval of a $782 US million investment over a three-year period to develop an open pit sink mine in Kamsberg in South Africa, as well as the conversion of the Scorpion Sink refinery in neighboring Namibia. The groundbreaking uh, 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 mining operation, uh, which will signify the start of operations on the mine, is scheduled uh, for, to take place today. Now, for more on the story, we are joined live by our reporter Reginald Vidboy in the Northern Cape. Reginald, a very good morning to you and welcome. Good morning, Elvis. Can you tell us an update as what is happening there in Hamsburg this morning? Well, yes, we are coming to you live from Achenais here in the Northern Cape, which lies between Uppington and Springbok on the N14. Um, now, we are here in the area for the first um, blast of the Hamsburg zinc mine, which is the world's biggest underdeveloped zinc mine in the world. Um, now, in 2010, Vidential Resources actually bought um, Hamsburg Deposit and Scorpion Mine Refinery um, as part of a package deal in zinc assets um, from Anglo-American. Um, now, last year, the company actually announced that they are going to invest 8.7 billion rand to build um, the Hamsburg Zinc Mine. Um, now, we talk about zinc, we talk about the mining industry, but um, zinc is actually, it plays a very important role in our lives. We use it in cosmetics, we use it in skincare products, and also in medication. But this um, project will hold economic benefits, not only for the Northern Cape, but for South Africa as a whole. Um, but to tell us more about that, we are now joined by the Deputy Minister of Mineral Resources, Godfrey Willif Willifant. Good morning, Mr. Willifant. Good morning, good morning, sir. Now, we are sitting here on a huge project. Um, what economic benefits will this hold um, for the South African mining industry? First of all, let me congratulate the Vedenta Group for launching this very important uh, blast today. Uh, zinc is one of the commodities that South Africa needs for various reasons, for export, for also to be able to get the byproducts out of it like sulfuric acids for agriculture. So the economic benefits are firstly the investment that comes with this new blast, the new mine today. And secondly, the, the opportunities that comes for small businesses that are going to be supplying services and, uh, and so on to the mine. But also what the law provides that uh, mining companies must invest in communities, in social and labor plans and other related activities. So we are very excited and delighted that today, on the 27th of uh, this month, uh, July, the Mandela month before we end it, we are launching this new mine a huge deposit of zinc in the middle of Namakwaland. So we are excited about the blast today. Now, if we look at the socio-economic impact that it will have, what does it mean for the Northern Cape and for South Africa? For, for the Northern Cape, it, it means a lot because, uh, you, as you know, mining has been declining over many years, including here in this area where we had uh, some of the diamond mines that have closed down. So this one brings a new life to Namakwaland in particular. You realize that a lot of people whose life was only about mining in the past to in Namakwaland have moved to other areas. So what this brings about is new uh, employment again. People can come back home to come and work in Namakwaland. The project is going to be employing at uh, construction phase close to 1,500 to about 2,000 people. So there are a lot of opportunities for people to come home. One, and secondly, just in terms of procurement of services and goods that are going to be needed in the development of a new mine. This gives a lot of business to people who are coming here and so on and so on. But also the multiplier effects 
the housing that is going to be built here. The law provides that no single-sex hostels for people working in the mines. So we expect that there will be at least uh, in the short term about 500 uh, houses to be built very quick uh, in this area and so on. So mining means that also you are going to be having a lot of diesel that is going to be supplied here, vehicles that are supposed to be coming here, the tires, so the opportunities for consumables and services are going to be very massive. So we are excited that uh, even our export is going to grow coming from the zinc. Now, what is the role of South Africa in terms of global zinc production? South Africa is going to be a very significant player. We have been playing a very significant role, but now with Hamsburg coming on stream, you'll recall that Hamsburg is the single biggest uh, zinc deposit, unknown, I mean known and underdeveloped deposit in the world today. Most of the zinc mines that have been there over the years have been closing down, including some assets belonging to this company, Vadenta. This one is starting and is going to be ramping up as others are going down. So for South Africa, this is a very good opportunity and a very good uh, uh, way to turn around things about mining because zinc is not doing as badly as other commodities are doing in the market today. And just lastly, Deputy Minister, um, in the past um, or previously, people complained about mining companies coming to the area, use the resources and leaving the area undeveloped. What measures will government take to ensure that um, this company doesn't do the same? No, no, post-2014, no company is expected uh, to do what they used to do in the past. The law provides that companies must invest in communities, they must invest in people and ensure that uh, this uh, great profits and go doesn't happen like it used to be in the past. You'll recall that, like I said earlier, this area used to have very uh, huge diamond mining and post-mining, diamond mining, then there were problems. This one, we've amended uh, the law. We have a charter in place that clearly says what the benefits should be to the communities in terms of percentages, especially indigenous black people of this country. So the laws are very clear. And also we've got provisions in the law that provides that uh, every five years companies must invest significantly in terms of developing for post-mining activity, for instance. Today when we talk about Joburg, we talk about the most successful social and labor plan that has happened to our country. So Joburg was as this place, just felt like you see today. But after mining of gold over many years, you can see that it's one of the biggest economic hubs in the country. This can happen here too. And we stand a chance as South Africa, and especially the Northern Cape, to be one of the most important beneficiation and industrialization gaps in the country, noting the number of mines that we have in, the, in, in this area of the Northern Cape and the beneficiation potential that we've got as a country. Thank you, Deputy Minister. Well, that was the Deputy Minister of Mineral Resources, um, Godfrey Oliphant, telling us about what um, economic impact um, the Hamsburg zinc mine will have, not only on the Northern Cape, but um, also for South Africa, saying that this project will create about 1,500 to 2,000 jobs, also build houses in the area. But with that said, it's back to you in the studio, Elvis. Reginald, thank you so much. That's our reporter on the scene, Reginald Vidboy in the Northern Cape, speaking to the Deputy Minister there for Mineral Resources, Godfrey Wollifant. Moving on to.